Hi, my name is Yu Chen Yao. The topic of our team's presentation is the function of controlling in three cases, which are Sydney Cross City Tunnel, Shulik School of Medicine, and Trans Power of New Zealand. I'm going to give an introduction of the controlling function. Mu Shan, Yi Chun, and Sunny will talk about the applications in three cases of controlling. Finally, Hugh will make a summary. Now, I'd like to begin my part. Controlling is one of the important functions of a manager. In order to seek planned results from the subordinates and at all levels of an organization, a manager needs to exercise effective control over the activities of the subordinates. In other words, controlling function can be defined as ensuring activities in an organization are performed as per the plans. After the meaning of controlling, let's see its importance in an organization. I summed up six points which are as follows. First, the controlling function is an accomplishment of measures that further makes progress towards the organizational goals. Take the Shuli case for example. The goals of Shuli School of Medicine are to build a cohesive department and to nurture a high performance culture. After planning and organizing what to do towards the goals, the chairwoman of Shuli School could identify deviations and indicate corrective actions by performing the controlling function. Therefore, it helps in guiding the organizational goals. Second, a good control system enables management to verify whether the standards set are accurate and objective. The efficient control system also helps to keep careful and progress check on the changes. For instance, the development of Sydney Cross City Tunnel is supposed to follow the political and institutional background. If the political and institutional have changed, the manager can perform a controlling function to review and revise the standards in light of such changes. Third, control of each activity is performed in accordance with predetermined standards and norms so as to ensure that the resources are used in the most effective and efficient ways for the further availability of resources. In New Zealand Transpower case, Transpower was charging too much by spending too much. One of the key criteria for the new CEO appointment is to optimize the spending and still maintain the operational performance and reliability. This implies that it's necessary to make efficient use of resources by the controlling of CEO. Fourth, controlling helps in accommodating a good control system, which ensures that each employee knows well in advance what they expect and what are the standards of performance on the basis of which they will be appraised. Therefore, it helps in motivating and increasing employees' potential so that they can provide a better performance. Fifth, Controlling creates an atmosphere of order and discipline in the organization, which helps to minimize dishonest behavior on the part of the employees. It keeps a close check on the activities of employees, and the organization can be able to track and find out the, the dishonest employees by using computer monitoring as a part of their control system. The last important function of controlling is that each department and employee is governed by such predetermined standards and goals which are well-versed well versed and coordinated with one another. This ensures that overall organization objectives, objectives are accomplished in an overall manner. Okay, this is the end of my talk. Thank you for listening and let's move on to the next person's talk. Hello everyone, my name is Mu Shan Li. My topic for today is controlling and I will be discussing the case study and the true connection with the controlling functions. Firstly, I will start with the case study and which is set in Australian and named the Sydney Cost City Tunnel. This tunnel opened for traffic in 2005. It runs beneath the central business district, supposedly reducing traffic construction on the surface as the vehicles not bound for the central city avoided. 
In this case, we can know by removing its west through the traffic on surface streets and reallocating road space for public transport, pedestrian use. The CCT was expected to provide several benefits to the Sydney community. Firstly, the channel can be reduced construction and improved travel times with the estimate saving of up to 20 minutes during peak hours. So, reducing the travel time between work and home is a controlling function in management, which can save time to do something meaningful as it is quite important and more efficient for the employees in a business. Secondly, the environment will be safer and more pleasure with better better urban designs, wider footpaths, and intrusive through traffic remover. It will provide better air quality for residents. When they have a healthy body, they will be working harder and perform better than in a, an unhealthy body situation. That will reflect on the day-to-day -day operational control relative to schedules, simplifications, and causes. For example, does the employees affect their attendance, the product or service quality, whether it meets the standards, etc. The second part will be the connection with the uh, controlling function during the bidding process, in this case, they have a formal group for evaluating the tender submission based on variance non-price determined criteria as evaluating is a systematic determination of a subject merit, worth, and significance using rules governed by a set of standards there are two functions considering the evaluations proposed. The first one is formative evaluation, which is provide information on improving a product or a process. The second one is summative evaluation, which is providing information on short-term effectiveness or long-term impact on deciding the abduction of a product or process. It is like a project fundamental function, and then we can go to the next stage. After evaluating the project, they, can, they prepared a detailed proposal showing how he planned to complete the design, construction, and operations of the CCT, such as the plan for quality assurance and project management, incident responses, safety and rehabilitation management, ETC. There is a close link between planning and controlling as planning is a process by which an organization's objectives and the methods to achieve the objective are established. Controlling is the process which measures and directs the actual performance against the planned goals of the organization. After they planned how to complete the project, they should control the human resource expenses of the CCT and how to maximize the return, return and recoup the costs incurred by the business. Thus, planning and controlling are often referred to as Siamese trains of management. That's my presentation for today. Thanks for your listening.
Hello everyone, I'm Yi Jun Zhao. Today I will click the function of controlling to the case study of Shunik School of Medicine. To implement the function of controlling, Shunik School of Medicine should meet some conditions. Firstly, there are some clear implementation standards, such as time regulations and uh, policies. It aimed at building a cohesive department and uh, developing a high-performance culture. The whole department's members all connected together to achieve the common goal. That's to perform better in academic research. Secondly, obtaining deviation information on time such as statements, briefs, original records, and oral reports. Because of the lack of documentation and the differences of workloads, Mr. Rylott applied broader frames to find solutions for deviations. That's a timely response which be taken to find deviations. Thirdly, it is effective measures to correct deviations. In the absence of any one of these conditions, management activities can spin out of control. In the event of underperformance in any area, some faculty members, which had put much effort before, may get coaching and mentorship to correct their deviations. Next is for the basic modes of controlling. To begin with, controlling time is a completion of any task which must have a time limit. Saving time is an important way to improve work efficiency. In order to build the consensus among the faculty members, Mr. Dreilert controlled the time to make tasks and the directions clearer. It is such a efficient way. In addition, control the quantity is one mode which can view the overall situation. Many indicators on the overall situation is reflected by the quantity. For the researcher, the limited quantity which completed is one standard to evaluate, although the participation rate is including as well. Last but not least, quality controlling is another efficient mode. Qu quality to survive is an important way of business. There will be no benefits without quality guarantee. Everyone's performance is difficult to judge and predict due to a lack of documentation and a different working process. Hence, the quality can keep the compensation easier and more convenient. The relationship between controlling and planning is quite close. Planning plays a guiding role. Under the guidance of the planning, the manager needs all aspects of the work in order to achieve the organizational goals. While controlling is a management function to ensure that the output of the organization is consistent with the plan. If there is no plan to indicate the goal of controlling, it is impossible for the manager to exercise effective controlling. Planning and controlling are designed to achieve organizational goals, and they are interdependent. For organizing function, it provides an appropriate organizational framework for the development of controlling functions. The process of organizing by which managers establish and coordinate organizational structures to achieve organizational goals to the controlling process. Hi everyone, I'm Sunny. I will discuss the management function of controlling in TransPower New Zealand.
In fact, the controlling function could not be applied to private-owned business but also the state-owned business. Transpower New Zealand could not continue to operate to a foreseeable future without the management functions of controlling. The controlling system play an irreplaceable role for helping managers to manage and govern Transpower New Zealand. The controlling system have some evident applications in Transpower New Zealand. The first application is helping Transpower New Zealand to achieve its goals. As a state-owned company, the ultimate goal of Transpower New Zealand is become both a profitable and efficient company and an organization with social responsibility. In order to help Transpower New Zealand to achieve its goal, controlling system requires Transpower to put together a regulatory plan looking five years out and a business plan for the Crown for three years forward that covered proposed operating expenses and the capital expenditure allowance, quality targets and output measures. This regulatory plan is helpful for Transpower New Zealand to govern and manage the performance of its employers and directors, preventing them become free riders and grafters. This plan could achieve organization goals, discover, discover deviation and direct corrective actions, which is also helpful for improve, improve the plan for the next cycle. This plan also relates to management function of planning with a perspective formulate future course of action to help Transpower New Zealand achieve the goals. These plans could not be successful without developing organization structures and allocate human resource. This is the management function of organizing. One of the key criteria for the new CEO Tempest appointment is to optimize the spending, although the funds reduce half a billion dollars. But Transpower New Zealand could still maintain the operational performance and reliability. Tempest could use control system to govern and manage the efficiency of Transpower that relates to efficiency use of labor and funds to prevent abusing and unreasonable using of organization resource. Therefore, the performance of Transpower New Zealand could be improved by making efficient use of resource. To ensure resource could be used efficiently, the management function of planning is an important process. It is detailed plan for the future course of action to help Tempest implement efficient use of its resource. Similarly, the process of making efficient use of organization resource could not be implemented without distribution human resource. This is related to management function of organizing the same as the first application. The third application is help Transpower New Zealand's director to facilitate coordination in action. Transpower New Zealand conduct an independent evaluation of the board to coordinate the action of each director and action between directors and department that make Transpower New Zealand easier to manage and govern its individual directors and the boards to evaluate their performance. Therefore, this application could help Transpower New Zealand to achieve its goals. As a matter of course, this application need evaluating and coordinating from management functions, which are different from other two applications. This brings us to the end of end part of our presentation.
In conclusion, despite companies' best intentions, many organisations find that their projects miss targets that were set out originally. Most projects are affected by cost increases and time delays. So what is the difference between an on-point project or organisation compared to one that isn't? The answer is the organisations having good controls in place. Controlling is an essential function of management. Management should exercise effective controls for the functions and activities of the business so all activities meet their desired targets. Ultimately, control should be the process of measuring the status of where things are at, forecasting any outcomes that could happen, and then improving upon these controls to better improve performance. We looked at three case studies. The first one was Sydney Cross City Tunnel, opened in 2005, and it's a tunnel that runs beneath the city. This helped the operating function by better enhancing the city structure and environment, which is more beneficial going forward as it keeps everything below ground. The tunnel's other goal is to decrease travel time, and this was a control function that was met. The evaluating process of the Sydney Cross City Tunnel had two main functions, informative evaluations, which was used to provide information to improve the process of evaluation, as well as um, summative, summative evaluations, which focused on short-term effectiveness or long-term impact of going ahead with the project. The proposal stage of the Sydney Cross Tunnel showed the link between control and planning. And this was the same in the School Look School of Medicine case, where planning and control had a lot of similar similarities, being that they both outline how to achieve an objective while controlling measures of actual performance versus planned performance. The next case study that we talked about was School Look School of Medicine. This has three implemented standards. Firstly, it was aimed at building a cohesive de department and nurturing a high-performance culture. Secondly, obtaining deviation information on time, such as statements, briefs, original records and oral reports. Thirdly, effective measures to correct these deviations. A key factor, if there is an area of underperformance, is that that faculty member was to get coaching and mentorship to correct these deviations. This is a good measure of internal control. Schoolick School of Medicine had basic models of controlling time to complete a task, control of quantity completed to assess overall effectiveness, and quality controlling of performance. Our next case study was TransPower New Zealand. TransPower New Zealand could not continue to operate to a foreseeable future without the management functions of control. The controlling system plays in an irreplaceable role for helping directors to manage and govern TransPower New Zealand. The controlling system has some evident applications in TransPower New Zealand. A goal of TransPower was profitability, sustainability and efficient company and to be an efficient company. Several controlling factors needed to be implemented such as regulatory plan, such as a regulatory plan sorry, which looks five years ahead into the future, as well as a business plan, which is for the Crown, which ex extends three years and considers details such as expenses and targets. These plans help to govern and manage the performance of employees. This plan could achieve organisational goals, discover deviations and direct corrective actions, which is also helpful for improving the plan for the next cycle. The management function of planning is also helped which, which also helps to organise structure and allocation of their human resources. A future consideration to stop costs from increasing and stop delays in time is the coordination of management and, government's func and governance functions of control. So basically organisational coordination and control is taking a systematic approach to figuring out if you're doing what you wanted to do or not. And then if you take that systematic approach, you can find 
that uh, measuring, forecasting, and then improving upon these controls is an effective way for companies to improve and to basically run smoothly and have positive projects and organizations. Here concludes our report. Thank you.